Where is she? I don't know. The window was open when I got here. Mikiko, where the hell did you go? Is she seriously going after Crimson Lotus again? Oh, not good. You know something? Oh, uh, no? Numbnuts here doesn't know a damn thing. He can speak for himself. Now talk. Well, it's just that Mikiko-san might be... Sanda! Whatever she decides to do, we see it through to the end. That was the deal, wasn't it? You trying to turn Mikiko into a criminal? You know detectives are supposed to protect their clients, right? We are protecting our client. By not letting you interfere with her work. You know, Igarashi, I really can't stand the sight of you. I'll just have to beat the truth out of you then. I'd like to see you try. In fact, I've been dreaming of the day I get to cave in your skull! Let's go, Kaito! Mikiko run off to. <sighs> Talk! <sighs> you really think you can save Mikiko-san? The guy who left her in the dust for the Matsugane family? Fuck you. Believe me, Kaito. Her anguish runs deeper and darker than you can possibly fathom. She's fueled by a hatred too hot to be contained. That is, until she kills her target. So what do you know about Mikiko, huh? A lot, actually. Collecting June wasn't all she had us do. There was another thing she asked us to look into. 
Which is how we learned of suffering that'd push anybody over the edge. Tell me. I'll ask you again. Do you really think you can save Mikiko-san? You got the balls to face the misery she's going through and accept what she's become? My mind's already made up. I'm gonna save Mikiko. Don't give a rat's ass if I die trying. Well said. Then let's go. Huh? Go where? To Ijincho, Yokohama. I'll fill you in on the drive. Any unfinished business you have, go take care of it now.